Hello Spoonverse. I'm the Spoon Lady and I'm a professional street performer and percussionist. And I've been asked before when it was in my life that I realized that being a percussionist was what I wanted to do. And I spent a lot of my time learning how to play spoons, traveling around the United States. I was primarily homeless, homeless by choice, but I was traveling around city to city learning how to play spoons as I went. And so for me, a lot of it was a long process. I fell in love with the songs on the rails. And I even took notebooks and carried them around with me and wrote down all the songs that I heard travelers sing and play and fell in love with folk music in general. My love for performance came later though. Uh, after I kind of figured music out, it was a little easier for me. I was terrible at first. It took me a long time to get to a point where I felt competent playing music with others. But I was determined and I was hungry at the time. I really needed to earn an income. Root hog or die. As I practiced and improved, I started falling in love with performance itself. It was fun to watch the reactions, the way that people, um, you know, followed each other. Like, for example, I would see a feller in a suit and a tie, you know, kind of hanging out in the crowd. And he would watch us kind of dancing. And he'd look around and see if anybody was watching him. And they'd look down at his feet and kind of do a little bit of a dance. And then look around again to see if anybody else was watching him. Those kinds of things were really fun for me to observe. The ways that people would react by the things that I would change to, the whole psychology of it, that's what I started to fall in love with. When I started spending a lot more time in Nashville, Tennessee, the police kept pushing me down the street. And eventually I got a little frustrated with that. And I had this idea and went around to all the tour groups I could find. I went around to the ghost tours and the walking tours and the trolley tours and the carriage tours and I said just add me to your tours. And the next thing you know they're going around and giving tours and they're calling me the spoon lady. And it's stuck. But now I didn't have to worry about the police because I was supposed to be there. Or at least it seemed like that was what the result was. But back to the original question which is when was it that I learned that being the spoon lady was what I wanted to do? It was when my attitude changed and I admitted to myself that I could achieve my dreams. At that point in my life it seemed like something in my brain had switched. In my brain I was finally saying yes I am the spoon lady, yes I love what I do. This principle ended up moving into other parts of my life. When I moved to Asheville, North Carolina, I started getting involved with some of the local politics and especially when it came to street performance and street performance laws. I was so scared that nobody would take me seriously. I was scared to give my opinion. I was scared to be in that kind of arena at all. I didn't know anything about politics, but I still showed up and I gave my opinion and I said what was on my mind. I didn't say I was trying to be an activist. I was an activist. Street performance is still a permit-free situation in Asheville, North Carolina. So I guess I'm just saying that a lot that you achieve in life is just attitude and frame of mind. Thanks, folks.